everybody, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. This is Five Minutes with Ben. I'm Ben. And this is take two. Um, I made a video on this game about 15, 20 minutes ago. And then I watched the video. And at the very end, I said totally insane stuff. And you guys would have destroyed me on YouTube. I would have been totally crushed. So I have, I have to make the video again. I hate to redo the whole video, but it's five minutes. So, Okay, this is the game Richard Report is white against Shakriar Mamajarov. This was played at the Aim Chess Rapid, which is online, uh, in 2022. So it started out boring. Okay, and then this position, which isn't very exciting, for the rest of the game, Mamajarov made the most exciting, most aggressive move. And that's the way Richard Report plays, so that, that's good. So he played d5. I mean, White could play knight bd2 here. Uh, he played, or queen e2. He played, d, he takes d5, queen takes d5, and bishop g2. Now you may be wondering what happens if White plays knight c3. Well, he plays it next move, so you'll see. Bishop g2 plays the most aggressive, e4. Richard Report plays knight c3. And Mamajarov plays bishop b4. Now, I haven't used an engine for this, for this position, but it's possible that black's already winning. It's possible. And maybe white should play knight d2. Maybe. But I don't know. Bishop g4 seems really annoying. So, like knight d2, I have to take the knight because my queen's attacked. And then bishop g4. And then I'm not sure what's going on. This seems really risky for white, with black's all in his face. Okay, but I, I think that's better than what he did. So he played knight g5. Okay, and then bishop g4, always the most aggressive. Queen d2, now the black queen is attacked. So took on c3, bc3. Black always plays an aggressive move, so he long castled. And white short castled. And black got more pieces into the game by playing knight e5. White played c4, attacking the queen. Queen went to d4, attacking the rook. It seems like black always has a threat. And in this position, Mamajarov was trying to find a piece to attack. And he found one, the knight on g5. So he played h6. And white doesn't really want to play knight h3. Because, you know, we have knight f3 check and such. It looks like bishop takes, bishop takes, knight f3 wins the queen. But the engine doesn't like that. It likes it so little, it puts the knight back on e5. What? Come on, let me play this. And that's because black is in check. So that looks like it wins, but it doesn't. But knight f3 check, this, this, this should be winning for black. White's king is uh, some kind of buttery toast. Vegan butter, I think. Okay. So white played queen b4, threatening queen takes b7 check. And Mama Jarov said, that's not a threat. That's just a pawn. So he took the knight. Oh, give me the knight. Queen takes b7, king d7. Okay, so white's down a piece, but white plays bishop b2 with a skewer, and black's king is running around. So maybe white has some compensation for the piece. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you were sleeping this whole video and you weren't interested and you don't care, you literally don't care, now you have to wake up. Wake up! Okay, now that you've woken up, this is the position I want you to see. I could have made the five minutes with Ben about this position and given you four minutes to solve it. So pause your video if you want to solve it. Black to play and win immediately. And it was the last move of the game. If you don't want to pause it, that's fine too. Black played. Rook takes h2. It's an amazing move when your queen's hanging. So the idea is to checkmate white. If white takes the rook, then we check. Knight f3 check. Bishop takes. And we're threatening rook h1 mate, which you can't stop. If you take the queen, which seems to make more sense, bishop takes d4. I sack the exchange. Always sack the exchange. Bishop check, rook h8, queen here check is the only check. There is no other check for white. 
Now, in the first video I made, I'll, I'll, even, I'll even confess to what I said. And that's why the last video is not up. It's going to be this one. I suggested king e5, a king e6, overlooking queen takes e5 check. I'm not even sure what's going on here. I, I guess white's winning. I don't know. Black still has unstoppable mate. But I get, well, actually, queen f5. Yeah, black, black, white's winning now. Okay, so my suggestion of king e6 wasn't good, but that was the final cut of the video, so I had to get rid of that video and give you the right move, c6. This is the only check, king e6, and black wins. Black's threatening rook h1 mate. The only defense is to move the rook off of h1, but it doesn't matter. Black's next move is going to be this and then this. You only temporarily stop the mate. You can't stop it forever. So surprisingly, maybe not surprisingly, after rook takes h2, this is the final position. Report resigned. So a brilliant game from Mamad Jarov, especially since it was a rapid game. A terrible first video for me, but I, I did better this video. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Don't leave a comment like, man, your first video sucked, unless you want to leave that comment. I'll see you guys next time with more 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.